we're here at the B2B Marketing Expo here in LA. What kind of data points can people look out for their videos? Number one, conversation starters. LinkedIn is my favorite content channel because of the B2B component. Are you able to generate conversations? The number one metric is conversation, not views. The things that are most important today, one, everybody get on video. Truly, you cannot bypass that. Video is actually a very powerful tool for sales. I'm here with Bruce Clay. This is the father of SEO. If you Google father of SEO, this guy shows up. So it's great to meet you, Bruce. I just wanted to see if you could just give us a couple of tips. Everybody get on video. Right now, get on video. Google changing the algorithm on a regular basis, something called a core algorithm update. And of late, that has actually emphasized trust. It is less about on page, it is less about linking. Are you trusted by the community? I love your platform. I love the integration of the video and all the tools that you guys are providing. Attaching videos to emails, there's a lot of limitations. Uh, there's a 25 megabyte attachment limit to most emails, but then of course the recipient has to then download it. So instead of sending them to YouTube, where they're going to be bombarded with distractions and advertisements, likely from competitors, we actually direct to a landing page. You're actually able to control the customer journey. What kind of trends are you seeing with videos specifically? I'm, I always talk about this idea that the homepage of Google is going to look like the homepage of YouTube at some point. How can we get ahead of the video movement? First, you have to actually start making videos. There's a lot of things out on the web that can tell you how to improve your video. The real thing is understanding that the video has to be about what people are interested in. You've got to remember your target market. Darius mentioned that we meet you where you work, but I think it's also about meeting you where you feel, right? So a lot of people are not ready to turn a camera on, a webcam, the Dub mobile app, any other mobile app, and actually record themselves. You just record your screen. I mean, there are so many things that we convey by sharing our screen. Social proof, customer testimonials, case studies. I'm here with Daniel, the CMO of Wave.Video. What are you seeing that people are doing in video? What's being successful on social media videos? Employee stories, customer stories. Number one, conversation starters. Are you able to generate conversations? Can you put a question on top of the video? Can you put a question in the video? This is the amazing Steady Pod. It's literally the world's best and most versatile handheld camera stabilizer slash support ever. You're building a business relationship with someone and they're like, hey man, I, I, I love what you're saying, but do you have anything visual? I just, I just need like a thing. And then you send them over this commercial from your company versus if it's you personally taking them through something, it's gonna be a, a completely different experience. So like, here's this commercial that the company produced that has nothing to do with me or you. Go ahead and watch that on your own time versus if you actually took the time to create a video for somebody, it's gonna have a much more impactful effect on them. And they're gonna appreciate that. Just including the word video in the subject line is gonna give you a seven to 14% increase in open rates. Actually showed a 20 to 40% increase in click-through rates on emails containing videos when compared to emails that did not. When LinkedIn opened video, I think they changed the game. You know, I'm on LinkedIn a lot. If your goal is to generate revenue, LinkedIn is gonna be a great channel for you guys. We had a pretty engaged audience and we were the last talk at the expo today. You know, the whole hall was cleared out except for our little group that we were speaking in front of, so it was pretty awesome. We're here at the B2B Marketing Expo here in LA. Yeah. How has it been for you? It's been an interesting conference. The thing that's different about this conference is that it's totally B2B focused. You meet with people that are probably a little bit more serious about investing into business tools, business resources. Of all the booths, which was the one that caught your eye the most? Um, I think the dub booth, actually, our booth <laughs> was probably the best. It was our booth.
I just got myself a fanny pack here, and this is from Phantom. Yeah, we're a full service marketing agency. It's pretty apparent that people are getting a lot more creative with the way that they're setting up their booth and the swag that they're giving away. Like, there's these fanny packs we can pick up friends at Phantom. So this is actually a clip-on wide lens that our friends at Lucid Press gave us. It makes your iPhone 10 into an iPhone 11 have to make it work for you. The conference can use you or you can use the conference. Hey guys, my name's Adrian. I'm with a company called Garmin Decor. This is a screen printing machine. So now it's t-shirt loading time. Here we go. We're actually printing over 300 plus t-shirts, uh, giving product away for free. One thing we've been doing is actually creating free social media videos for people at their booth. Wrapping up here. Productive show. I think one of my biggest inspirations is just trying to provide value to people. Um, trying to have people come to the booth, educate them, coach them a little bit, um, provide some value. So we, you know, we did these short social media videos and people really enjoyed them. Conference is wrapped. We're ready to go home.